Hello everyone. Well, it's Monday again, which means that it's time for another Hobby Farm Guys Spotlight video. Each Monday, we highlight a specific breed of hobby farm animal. Sometimes, we highlight popular and common breeds so you can learn about their history and what makes them so popular. Sometimes, we highlight unique or uncommon breeds so you can learn about other lesser known options that might be a good fit for your farm. With over 150 spotlights, you're sure to find what you're looking for, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can find us when you need us. You can peruse our breed spotlight playlists, and if there's a breed you're interested in that you don't see, just leave it in the comments and request it. Many of our spotlights are subscriber requests. Today, we look at an American pig breed, common in areas of the Midwest, uncommon through most of the country, and unknown in many parts of the world, the Hereford. This hog is often referred to as the world's most attractive hog. Stick around to learn all about this amazing, good-looking pig. I'm Steve with the Hobby Farm Guys, and today I get to introduce you to a beautiful heritage pig breed. The first person to describe and breed for the Hereford color pattern in pigs was R.U. Weber of La Plata, Missouri. Mr. Weber was said to have made his first crosses in about 1902. No exact records are available, but it's believed that Durox, Chester Whites, and at least one more pig breed were involved. Over the next 20 years, others, most notably John Schulte of Norway, Iowa, took these pigs and further developed them for color, conformance, and production. Mr. Weber didn't cooperate with these breeders, and none of the present-day Hereford hogs trace back to those original Weber bloodlines. Mr. Schulte of Iowa and other breeders in Iowa and Nebraska developed the breed using primarily Duroc and Poland China breeds. They had definite goals in mind for the breed, including not only color markings, which resembled to a great extent the red and white markings of Hereford cattle, but also superior feeding qualities. In 1934, about a hundred of the best hogs were selected from five different herds in Iowa and Nebraska to form the foundation stock of the breed. A breed society, the National Hereford Hog Registry Association, was formed under the sponsorship of the Polled Hereford Cattle Registry Association and a herd book was opened. The breed grew in numbers into the mid 20th century, particularly in Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. But from the 1960s, with the move of commercial pork operations to the modern system of three-way crossbreeding using American Yorkshire, Durick, and Hampshire breeds, populations of Hereford hogs dropped significantly. By 2013, the American Livestock Breed Conservancy estimated that fewer than 2,000 breeding animals remained and listed the conservation status of the breed as watch. In 2022, the conservation status of the breed had been changed to recovering. Unique to America, the Hereford hog is of medium size with a height of 26 to 32 inches and a length of 36 to 42 inches. Mature sows reach about 600 pounds and mature boars can top 800 pounds. The Hereford's name was inspired by its strikingly beautiful color pattern of intense red with white trim that resembles the coloration of Hereford cattle. The face is white, both skin and hair, and the ears are also typically white, though they may have some red. Ears must break forward. The back, both skin and hair, is entirely red with no white markings. The red coloration extends down near the belly such that at least two-thirds of the pig is red. The belly is white and the pig typically sports white socks. At least two feet must have white socks to qualify to be registered. The red coloration can range from light to dark, with darker colorations preferred. This pig is often referred to as the world's most attractive pig. Hereford pigs are not only beautiful, but easygoing as well. A medium-sized pig, their smaller size coupled with their gentle disposition, make them a favorite with 4-H participants and others raising pigs with small children. They also grow quickly. With breeders having emphasized early maturation, Hereford hogs reach market weight of 200 to 250 pounds by five to six months of age. They're easy to pasture, but they're also grain efficient, reaching market weight on less feed than many other breeds. As pasture pigs, Herefords have a strong instinct for rooting and grazing. They use their snouts to dig and search for food on their own. They enjoy fresh grass and whatever they find in the soil, such as roots, insects, and other goodies. Heritage pigs, they make producing future generations of pigs for the farm easy. Sows breed back fast, only three days after weaning, and boars are aggressive breeders. Litter size averages 7 to 9, but maybe as high as 15. Being smaller than many breeds, these boars are easy keepers due to their smaller size and docile temperament. Hereford are adaptable and thrive in both outdoor operations and under confinement systems. They also do well in a wide variety of climates. They do well in hotter climates thanks to their darker skin, which reduces their susceptibility to sunburn. Hereford hogs have a tough hide and handle cold and warm temperatures well. 
They have a lifespan of 12 to 14 years. And Hereford pigs are known for their meat, which is a deeper red than most pork and has a significant amount of intermuscular fat, which helps keep the meat moist during cooking, preventing it from drying out. The meat quality of Hereford pigs is attributed to their grazing and foraging behavior, which contributes to the flavor profile of the meat. It is a rich, full flavor with a hint of sweetness. So if you're looking for a fast-growing, docile pig that produces delicious meat and looks good doing it, take a look at the Hereford pig. Depending upon where you live, they may be a bit difficult to find, but those that raise them believe they're worth their work to the source. You know what else isn't hard? Clicking that like button. It's super easy, I promise, and we sure appreciate those of you who do that for us so our videos are more likely to get recommended to others looking for this type of information. Also, leave a comment below letting us know what you like or didn't like about the pig, the video, or last night's dinner. We don't care. We love to hear from you guys. Seriously though, if there's another pig breed or any hobby farm animal or topic you'd like to see, leave it in the comments and we'll get it added to our list. Thanks everyone for watching and until next Thursday, fun hobby farming.